Morning guys, heading out on a trip, JT and Jim again this weekend, meeting up with JT at Mule, Jim's going to meet us up tomorrow, He, uh, his wife didn't want to take an Uber to the airport, so he's got to drop her off in the morning, he's going to meet up with us tomorrow, we're heading east, it's supposed to rain here all weekend, it's supposed to be decent over in eastern Washington, going over to uh, Lion Rock tonight, well, and then could, uh, could make the argument that the possibly Vantage tomorrow, but we'll kind of see what the weather looks like, and uh, Gotta go from there. Appreciate everybody that's ordered the handle flaps. I think I've sold like 35 sets of them already. I just got an order five minutes ago, so I ran back inside and uh, packed up that order, and I'm gonna drop that off at the post office as I'm uh, leaving town. But yeah, I got about an hour and a half until uh, we get to meal to meet up with JT, and then we'll uh, go from there. See you guys on the road. All right, guys, we're pulling up into Mule. JT's probably been here about 10 minutes. He said to be here at 11:30. There was a wreck on the freeway, so whatever we back but if you guys are in the PNW meals a great place to shop for all of your overlanding needs great people here I always come out to their uh, open houses and stuff we always meet here because it's usually in the middle for everybody or right off the freeway if we're heading east so we'll uh, meet up with JT and we'll uh, see if we need to spend any money today and then we'll roll out of here we just left Mule. We always like walking around there to see what they have there that we can't afford. But we just left. We've got uh, right around two hours to get up to Lion Rock. So we should be there around 2.30. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter, depending on uh, if we get stuck behind people going 10 under the speed limit up the pass like we usually do. But now we're just gonna cruise and then I'll uh, catch up with you guys. I might throw the drone up as we're pulling into camp. We'll uh, see what the weather is like. I have not checked today, but yesterday it said it's supposed to be just cloudy and then rain for a couple hours tomorrow afternoon. So we'll uh, we'll see when we get there. All right, we uh, ended up going a different way. Up, we're going to Lion Rock. I don't uh, I don't keep much of the areas I go to private because everywhere we go is usually somewhere that's pretty popular. But a few places I won't tell you guys exactly where we're at. We're going to Lion Rock tonight, right outside of Allensburg. Um, we uh, usually go through Ellensburg, but GPS took us kind of th through Clea Element. We're going up the backside, which I've never driven this way before going this way. I've come down this way, because uh, I think this is right about where the BDR ends on this side, but um, I'm pretty sure I've come the opposite direction, heading north on the BDR a couple of years ago. I installed some apex valves in my tires a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll have to show you guys when we get to camp, but basically they're a valve stem that replaces your factory valve stem or whatever And they have a rapid deflate valve on them. So I basically pull the valve cap off I pull on the valve stem and it rapidly deflates my air I, uh, I took uh, it took about five seconds per tire and I went from 38 psi to 22 psi I can drop, I, te I tested it when I put them on, I went from 38 to 14 PSI in 9.1 seconds. Um, so they're extremely fast. So you kind of just, you kind of got to eyeball it, but it's, uh, I mean, if you need a deflate fast, I still carry my, uh, I've got some deflation tire valves I screw on and they're set to like 12 PSI and I just leave them on. But that's nice when I just want to do a quick deflate. This road is a little washboardy and it helps tremendously to air down even just 15 psi but i'm running 23 right now we're gonna cruise um i made the mistake of exiting out of my maps and i don't have the maps downloaded in this area on google and gaia for some reason is not uh directing me but uh yeah i think we have about uh 14 miles it's about it says it's 38 minutes so i'll uh, jump back with you guys right before we hit camp and we'll uh, go from there we still have uh, 1,600 feet in elevation to go up, and we just ran into, I mean, it's been kind of snow patches here and there, but uh, right where JT is at is about a foot and a half deep of ice, and it's going straight up at an angle, kind of off camber, and we're not uh, feeling like recovering today, so we're going to backtrack an hour, go back down to Ellensburg, and come back up the other side. There's already been a couple sketchy spots, and uh, I'm assuming it's just going to get sketchier as we go up another 1,300 feet. So, sucks, but you know, you got to pick your battles. So, I don't feel like playing around in the snow and trying to recover myself 500 times just to not be able to get to our spot. So, I'll just go our tried and true way and uh, 
guess I'll catch up with you guys when we get back down to the main road. Backtracked and we're uh, headed back up the other side to Lion Rock. Just wanted to show you guys the uh, beautiful clouds here today. It's pretty cool. But unfortunately, this, this side of uh, Lion Rock is very uneventful. It's mostly paved all the way up. It's a one lane paved road. It's kind of weird the way they did it. I don't know why. I assume, well, I don't know. There's a campground up there as well, so I'm guessing that they uh, did it to make it easier for people to get up there. But we got about, uh, it says 15 miles up to Lion Rock, 45 minutes. I think the speed limit's like 20, so we'll probably get there in about 25, 30 minutes. It's uh, definitely like a 35, 40 mile an hour cruise up there. But we're uh, headed back up into the rain clouds. Just checked the weather because we got back into service. It says at five o'clock, which is in a little over two hours, it says about 30% chance of rain for one hour. And then it's supposed to be kind of just overcast all weekend. There's no chance, there's nothing listed for rain. So we'll probably see a hurricane since it's Washington and the weather is always complete opposite of what they say it's gonna be. But uh, I don't know if you can see right about there, it's a bunch of rain coming down. That, Looks like it's just literally 100 yards from us. But see in my mirror how dirty my truck is already. That trail we were on was pretty nasty. But yeah, we're just gonna chill. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll throw up the drone right before we get up to camp and kind of just, as long as the weather's okay, if the weather's garbage, then I'm not throwing the drone up. But yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys when we get a little bit closer, get off the road. Maybe I'll pull up the camera to show you guys the twisty single lane road that we get stuck on for 10 miles but yeah here's that uh one lane road i was talking about at least the flowers are out but basically like this for i don't know eight or nine miles basically just kind of weaving in and out of everywhere the road gets pretty rough but it's paved almost all the way up there a couple pullouts here and there it's a cluster F in the summertime when this is busy because you gotta pull off every two seconds, let somebody by going the other way. And they got some spray paint around the pothole, so maybe they're gonna come up and fix this road this summer. But as you can see, we're driving right into all those nasty clouds, so I'm hoping we don't run into rain, but I have a feeling we're gonna be we're gonna be up in the rain this evening. But we'll see, maybe it's uh, moving the other way because it's nice and clear on that side, so. sun basically all around us minus right in front of us where we're going about same uh, elevation we were hitting been hitting snow so we'll see we jumped out air down I changed my clothes out of my vans I put my boots on and my pants on instead of my shorts just just in case we got to get out but drop the PSI down to 15 PSI again and uh, we're just gonna see how far we can get up we still got uh, five miles until we're up there and uh, about 1,300 feet in elevation change. So we'll see what happens. I told JT to go first. He can get stuck this time. I'm usually one that gets stuck. So we'll see what happens and uh, I'll catch up with you guys if we get stuck or when we get close to camp. Wanted to show you guys, uh, we get some pretty big fires that come through Washington every once in a while. I don't remember exactly when this fire came through here. It was like five or six years ago, but the rest of this trail is basically just all this dead, uh, fire timber you can see it kind of burnt looking but most of this is all open so i'm hoping that the sun and everything kind of dried everything up it's 45 degrees right now so take the right line it's uh, definitely been uh it's uh, definitely there we go definitely been uh melting away so we'll see uh We'll see how bad it gets up here and figure something out. We've already passed a couple vehicles up there, so. Fresh. Well, guys, ran into uh, two feet of snow here, and I don't think we want to chance it because we still got to go up 1,300 feet. So we're gonna backtrack, go over to Whiskey Dick Mountain, and uh, try to find somewhere to camp over there for the evening. 
All right, guys, as we were uh, heading back down the mountain, JT mentioned a spot on our left. I've uh, been up here probably 30, 40 times and I've never noticed this spot. It's like a couple hundred feet off the road, but I'm not too worried about it. And uh, we kind of glanced over and decided to come down and check it out. And this is uh, what we drove down to. So we're gonna set up camp here tonight. Beats driving another hour or two to possibly run into snow again. But uh, yeah, well, uh, it's, let's see here, just after four, it's 4.05. So the only downside here is we may have some wind come in in the middle of the night, but worst case, just turn the truck into the, into the wind, but I think we'll be okay. Beautiful spot here. Nice fire pit already set up. I think we basically gave up on wood fires though. The last 20 that we've had have been complete ass. Yeah, it looks like the rain clouds are moving away from us. So hopefully. All right, we had uh, rain for about an hour. Just uh, finished dinner. It's finally cleared up. Turned out to be a beautiful evening. No complaints. Especially while we're at it. These are these uh, tire valves I was telling you guys about. Basically, uh, Unscrew valve cap, and then uh, this little red tab says pull. You pull that up, and it deflates the tires. Like I said, went from 38 psi, I think, to 14 psi in nine and a half seconds. It's just crazy how fast they are. The truck definitely got a little dirty. guys it's uh six o'clock didn't do much video yesterday i don't even know if my last clip had any sound because my uh microphone's died because i left them on but uh down to 30 last night kept the heater on all night i actually woke up pretty toasty uh had a couple of random gunshots in the middle of the night so that's always fun but uh not looked outside yet Seems to be a pretty beautiful day today. JT might be up. Looks like we got a bunch of ice on top of my awning, so it's going to be fun. Hopefully it dries out this evening, because it's supposed to rain in my house for the next two weeks, so I had no time to dry anything out. But I'm going to chill for a few. Once JT gets up, we're going to pack up and head to town and eat some breakfast in town. And then, uh, Jim should be here around noon today. But, yeah, I'll uh, catch back up with you guys when we uh, start packing up. I uh, spared you guys the details of us packing up camp since I show it in every video I do. Awning is probably the wettest I've ever put it away. Ice all over it. Hoping uh, tonight's going to be somewhere we can dry it out, like I'd said. Because uh, rain the next two weeks at home, it's not going to do me any favors. But it turned out to be a beautiful morning. Oh, it's no clouds in the sky. A couple light clouds, I guess, but nothing like it was yesterday. Got the truck warming up. We're going to head into Allensburg. <clears throat> JT said there's a 50s diner down there that makes really good breakfast, so we're going to go down there and grab some breakfast. 
I uh, used a full tank of fuel last night to heat the camper. I turned it on about uh, 8.30 last night, and it's 7.30 now, about 6, 6.30ish. I came out uh, just to start putting some stuff away, and I looked at the diesel heater, and my fuel was right at the fuel pickup, and it was had some bubbles coming through the line. But it was still running, so I threw some fuel in there hoping I caught it in time, but I must have caught it about 10 seconds too late because very shortly after that it ran out and threw a, a fuel code, put fuel in it, started right back up again, let it run for about 10 minutes and shut it back down so it could do its its cycle correctly. But yeah, we'll uh, let these things warm up a few and uh, we'll head into town. Decent spot. Better than driving forever and finding nothing, so marked it on our calendar for an emergency spot if we happen to run into the issue again of running into snow or our spots are taken up. Fortunately, there's glass all over the ground, but other than that, it's a fairly clean, uh, clean site. There's not much trash here, surprisingly, since the road is, like I said, a couple hundred feet that way. But we aired up last night, so we're, uh, we're good to hit the road right away. I'll uh, catch you guys when we get into town. We uh, come up to a spot up here to Wild Horse Monument Lookout. Um, everywhere else we went was closed. Camera, buddy. Yeah, it gets a little bit worse right here. I'm gonna jump out real quick. But, uh, yeah, it's a trail we're going to try to get up to the top. Yeah, we definitely cannot go through there. We'll have to see if we can go around. It looks like it's just this one spot, so I just got to hang off to the, the left, it looks like. It's uh, about two feet deep there. Can't really go around. We ended up going around that washout it's, uh, road, Onyx. Made it seem like there's quite a few people that come down this road. And I don't know if there's been anybody down this road in the last year or two. Beautiful views up here though. Pretty epic view up here, though. I'll uh, get the drone. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to do the drone because we're pretty close to the power lines here. But we'll uh, get up here. I'm hoping there's a flat spot we can park and hang out for an hour, and then we're gonna meet up with Jim. We'll be uh, meeting up with us. Uh, meeting up with us in about two hours we're gonna head back into Ellensburg and then hit a trail that we found so I'll catch you guys here in a few minutes found a decent spot overlooking the river drying our awnings out a little breeze awnings are drying pretty quick chill here for Another half hour or so, and then uh, head head into town. Meet up with Jim. He's getting across the pass right now. He said so, not too far out. Smells great up here. Bunch of sage everywhere. As soon as I got out of the truck, it just hits you in the face. It's pretty cool. Uh, purple flowers too. 
but just taking the views for right now, letting our stuff dry out, and then we're uh, gonna hit the road again. Try to do a video on the way out of here. The trail was uh, a little rough. So to get out of here, we gotta backtrack, go to the freeway, and then drive the wrong way two miles to turn around to go back towards Ellensburg. We're looking at Onyx, and it looks like if we uh, basically turn around and hang a left where we just turned to right down here, it goes right onto some farmland, and there's a road that goes all the way back to the main road. We thought it was gonna be a long way around until we realized we had to go down the freeway two miles to turn around, and I think it's gonna be faster if we just backtrack onto the farmland so we're gonna do that and uh head back to the highway got uh, about 45 minutes till jim's in town so yeah it's gonna be our best bet to get back to him about the same time he gets back down here so as long as we don't run into any uh closed roads or anything this is private land right where we're at, but where we're heading here in a second is, uh, our, we're on public land right now, and where we're headed is private land, but usually the land access goes through private property a lot on the off-road trails here in Washington. They uh, basically have signs, usually they'll have like a gate across it, and they'll say, hey, please close behind you or whatever, and just get out, open the gate, drive through, get out, close the gate, and keep on your way. It's all uh, just cow grazing areas out here or hay fields, so should be should be good here. But we'll see you here in a few minutes, and I'll uh, catch up with you guys when we're back on the highway. enough all right we had a truck haul ass up onto us and figured maybe we we're somewhere we shouldn't be so I pulled over and talked to him but I think they're just workers on the farms out here he said this road goes all the way down to the highway so we're uh, we're just gonna haul ass down this road get back to the highway and then uh, head back to Ellensburg since so it's about a 50 minute drive right now but should be there about 12.07. We told Jim we'd be there at 12, so we're not going to be too late, and I'm sure we'll make up a little bit of time here. I'm sure these roads are probably marked at 5 miles an hour, and we're going 30, so we'll uh, just cruise. We got uh, about a mile till we hit the highway, and then uh, head back towards Ellensburg. All right, JT and I are on the trail. We're going to go up a little ways and uh, find a clearer cut and kind of hang out. Jim's about 20-ish minutes behind us, so he's not too far back, but this trail is uh, slow going. We're going about 10 miles an hour. It's technical side of things is not bad, but it's a very rough trail. Looks like uh, a lot of people enjoy this trail, even in the winter time, and it looks like there's like a bunch of mud pits back there that have dried up, so really ruddy out. But we're gonna cruise up here, Find a clear cut, like I said, chill, make some lunch. It's uh, 12.30 right now, so I'll eat some lunch while I wait for Jim to show up, and then uh, I'll probably throw up the drone, and uh, we'll hit the trail some more. This trail's just shy of 30 miles, like 29 and a half miles, so we'll be out here for a couple hours until we get, uh, I think it ends up basically on the Columbia River, so hopefully we'll have a nice, nice spot on the river tonight, but I'll... Uh, Catch up with you guys when we get up here a little bit and uh, find somewhere to hang out for a while. Well, we got ourselves a little stream crossing here. All right, we're cruising down the road. Jim just messaged us saying he was on the dirt road, so it's not terribly far behind us. It's still about 20 minutes, but we uh, came along this uh, little meadowy area. It's uh, dried up stream not super dried up there's still a little bit there but we uh stop here have some lunch just chill for a little bit waiting for a gym to come and then uh then we'll keep rolling 
Beautiful area. All right, Jim finally caught up with us. So we're uh, back on the trail. Onyx decided to do an update yesterday and so now you can't use it to navigate for some reason. You click on it and it does the same shit Gaia does and just does a, uh, basically as the crow flies, instead of guiding you. So I don't know how long we've got on this trail, but we're not even a third of the way through. So we got at least 20 miles left to go. So let's take it easy and head on down the trail a couple hours and we'll uh, see what we, hit for camping when we uh, get to the end or we happen to find somewhere in the middle. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I think my microphone fell off the other side of the truck. But, uh, this is uh, the worst road I have ever been on. And uh, even if this is the best campsite I've ever been to, I will never drive down this road again. And I uh, don't suggest any of you do either. It's, uh, going less than five miles an hour. So this is going to be, uh, if it stays like this, we're going to be on this trail for six hours. It's 30 miles. This trail has been ever maintained. Onyx did not show it as a terrible map, but, or a terrible map. This is, uh, I'm sure you guys probably can't fall 100% with the stabilization of the camera, but this is, uh, Dude, I don't know if I can do another 15 miles of this, man. All right, we just pulled over, made a game plan. I finally got Onyx to update again, and they put the navigation button back on there. It was gone for like 12 hours. But anyways, uh, we have seven miles to the camp spot, so we're already 23 miles in. So we uh, decided just to suck it up and drive the rest of the seven miles so we can relax for the evening versus spending the next two and a half hours going back the other way, being in hell, and then trying to find another camp spot that we might run into snow again on. So we're just going to cruise down. Probably got uh, at four miles an hour, we got another two hours of this. So we'll, uh, I'll catch you guys when we get a little bit closer, at least with some views right now. We're just looking at hills, kind of not, can't really see the river. But from what we can see on the Onyx notes is there's a couple of nice camp spots down by the river down here. But they also said in the notes, uh, gravel road with small rocks, easy trail. It is an easy trail. I wouldn't call them small rocks. I'd call them medium and a million of them I might have to uh, I might have to turn off my uh, stabilization just so you guys can see how absolutely terrible this is I'm sure it shows a little bit I'm sure you can hear everything rattling around in here that's just absolutely terrible hopefully the spot's worth it if not, uh, I guess we got six hours of driving back out of here. It's uh, currently two o'clock now, so it's been uh, just, uh, well, I guess it's only been about an hour and 10 minutes since Jim met up with us, so it hasn't been absolutely terrible, but yeah, all right. All right, we made it to camp. <clears throat> A couple people here. Cooking up some dinner. Side by side guys rolled in, but I think they're gonna roll out soon. We got one person over there and a couple people way down there, but it's a pretty nice spot. Fortunately, we were hoping to camp down by the river, but uh, DNR has got other other plans for this area. Gotta watch out, I almost stepped on a snake a little bit ago when we were walking through here. This right here is why uh, stuff gets closed down. They put a gate up 
Somebody ripped the post out of the ground, destroyed the fence. It's a shame. Walk over here and show you guys. This is just a stream that's kind of my camp here. But the trail used to go through here and kind of around the bushes and down to the river. You just can't get to the river anymore, unfortunately. But we basically set up camp. Wind's coming down from the valley, so JT and I parked uh, our noses into the wind to kind of block the wind. And Jim's hitting a little bit of wind, but it's not too bad. We got the stream that runs right along here, so we'll have uh, leave some water noises tonight. Frogs were pretty gnarly about an hour ago, so I'm sure they'll come back tonight. I'll tell you when to throw it on. Oh, okay. Are we just putting super low? Uh, Doing chili cheese dogs tonight. Had a couple sheep up on the hill a little bit ago. Yeah, lady said she saw, looked like a, like one goat and then like a baby or something. They thought it was a deer until they turned to the side. He was up there for a while. Yeah, he was staring right at us for quite a while. They said they saw a couple turkeys up on the hill when they got here earlier. <laughs> Definitely not excited for the drive out of here tomorrow. Alright guys, as it would happen, life happens. My wife uh, called me yesterday and told me that my oldest woke up from his nap crying and had a headache and all this other stuff and just put it up to have a cold or something, but my wife called me at 2.30 a.m. Or she texted me at 2.30, called me at 3 because I didn't text her back. Basically, she's got the same thing. I was going to leave... Uh, I was gonna leave last night, but she told me to wait till first light, so I packed up quietly and right at 5.30, I rolled out of camp. Sorry for those that I woke up, but family always comes first regardless. I uh, had mentioned a few videos back that I had some health issues. I basically dealt with autoimmune issues my whole life, and last year it came back and bit me. I hadn't had issues with it since I was younger, and it bit me pretty hard last year I was out for it's a year coming up in two days it'll be a year that my issue started basically I had to stop working in June of last year just now starting to get better as of a couple months ago and uh, they always say it's not hereditary but everything you look into says that it is so I feel like my kids are gonna deal with the same issues I dealt with my whole life so don't take any chances with health when it comes to health or family stuff, so. Uh, I'm heading home. As of now, this says I got a four hour drive, but I'm sure that doesn't calculate how garbage this road is, so who knows how long it's gonna take me to get home, but we'll uh, press on and get it taken care of. I'll uh, catch up with you guys. If it gets light out enough to where I can throw the drone up for a couple shots, I will. I'm not a huge fan of flying it in low light, so we'll, uh, We'll wait a little bit, but we got a couple hours on this road, so it'll probably be pretty light. I think coming through here is where I bottomed out on some big rock. I think maybe this one I'm about to drive over on the way through here. Definitely a lot of change of scenery on this trail. It's one nice thing. If the road was just a hair smoother, it'd be great. But we were talking like around the fire last night. If this trail was like five to ten miles long, not 30 miles, it would 100% be worth it. 
but uh, just 30 miles of this garbage makes it uh, not really worth that and you can't get down to the water like you used to be able to. Maybe if you could camp on the river and this was 10 miles, 10 out of 10 would say do this trail. But uh, 30 miles and you're stuck a couple hundred yards from the, from the water. It was very peaceful last night. I slept great until I got a call. frogs and crickets and all that. I mean, it was extremely great. A lot of these videos I do so my, my oldest can see the adventures I go on. I'm going to start bringing him out with us probably this summer. But he likes, uh, likes watching the videos, so show some scenery. I think when I get up to the bluff here, I'm going to try to jump out and take a photo of the... I don't know if you guys can see the sky in my mirror there, but it's extremely beautiful this morning. Woke up around midnight, looked out my window, and you can see the stars. It was crystal clear out all night last night. Didn't get too cold. Uh, currently it's 45. I think it got down to like maybe 42, 43 last night. Wasn't bad. The heater ran on low all night. I barely used any fuel, and I woke up sweating with my windows open, so... I'm gonna keep on trucking, and I'll uh, get back with you guys when we get up a little bit further up, up high.
as we sit here and cruise at five to ten miles an hour I figured I'd uh, pull the camera out and show you guys the, the views much better views in the morning time than in the afternoon time sunrise makes this whole area super beautiful kind of see the river over there between the, the hills we're uh, cruising it's been 11 miles since I left camp. I left with 169 miles and we're at 158 miles. I've already gained 20 minutes on my ETA. So Google thinks that this is a 25, 35 mile an hour road. We'll uh, see how much more time we gain. I think I'm on this well for another 18 miles basically. So I'm a third of the way. Uh, let's see what... Uh, what Onyx is telling me here. I mean, if I go off of what Onyx is telling me, I'm basically uh, just shy of a third. Let's see if I can put a screenshot up here, but I'm here. And I gotta get all the way down to here. And we start at the back here. So, we're getting there. Uh, just slow going. Apologize to the guys for bailing on them this morning and definitely would have loved to hang around camp and have breakfast and uh, bullshitted with them and cruise back with them. But like I said, family's always first and I wasn't trying to wake the guys up at four o'clock in the morning when I was packing up, telling them I was going to leave to see if they wanted to come with me. So I just uh, packed them as quiet as I could and unfortunately woke them up obviously when I was leaving camp starting the truck up my truck is not quiet especially on a cold start with the with the diesel this uh road that we're coming up on here almost positive this is uh this is the road that jt and uh jim are gonna try to go down today that kind of backtracks different and I plan on doing it with them. We were hoping that it had a better, smoother trail, but I can't, uh, I can't risk the trail not going through or having issues if we were cruising together and I wasn't in a rush. Backtracking 10 miles is not a huge deal, but it is when it adds hours to my drive time and I gotta get home as fast as I can. <clears throat> but, looks like there might've been a pretty decent water crossing and stuff down there. Either a washed out bridge or a decent water crossing, one of the two. And it's hard to tell. It's uh, basically, let's see, I'll stop real quick. This section of the map, that's, I mean, it's marked as a trail, but it's not a trail, if that makes sense. So this trail stops here, and that's where they're trying to get to from where we're at, basically, right here. So they're going to take this trail down to this trail, and hopefully this trail is a lot smoother. Right where that trail, it's kind of weird, the trail stops there. There's either a water crossing there or a washed out bridge, one of the two. So, hopefully it works out for them. Fortunately, I don't think it'll be a trail that I'll ever be able to do unless I come over here solo, because I don't think any of us ever plan on doing this trail again, but... Maybe that's a super nice trail, and if that trail's super nice, then this drive would be worth it because we're only 10 miles of these garbage roads. But I'll uh, keep on trucking, and uh, if I come up with anything cool, I'll get back with you guys.
about halfway down the trail finally. It's uh, 7 o'clock. I left uh, 5.30, so an hour and a half ago. Super windy up here. Couldn't figure out why, and I think it's all these fans. They're making all this wind. I'm not sure why they do that. It's kind of weird. It's hundreds of giant fans. Must have something to do with the agriculture side of things here. A couple over on this side of the hill, too. But sure does make it windy over here. I'm just joking, guys. I know they're wind turbines. They've been around forever here. Huge wind farms. That uh, There's like a road that goes over there. I'm sure a lot smoother than this road, obviously. It's called uh, Wind Farm Adventures. No, an onyx, but it's all this is all public land, so you can basically drive all the way to the bottom of every single one of those. <clears throat> Not sure how well they'll show up in video on my little screen. I'm looking at here, you can't see them at all, but it must be whipping over there because the blades are uh, they're bending pretty good back backwards. Yeah, we're just uh, taking it slow, averaging like six, seven miles an hour. If I mentioned it, but I dropped some more PSI this morning. Jim and I were talking last night. We thought it might be a little smoother if we dropped a couple, couple more PSI. I dropped myself. Uh, I basically opened the valves and the tires for all of two seconds per tire and went. I was averaging around 21 PSI. I dropped down to 16 PSI. I'm up to 18, 19 PSI, but I've been driving for an hour and a half, so the tires are nice and warm now. So go off the cold PSI of 16-ish. But yeah, just cruising. I uh, stopped and took a couple drone videos as I was driving on the trail. I added 30 seconds to my drive. I just put it out my window and grabbed it through my window as I was driving. To show you guys how uh, absolutely terrible this trail is. You can definitely see it better from the drone. Still can't see how bad it is in general, but better than the stabilized cameras here. Uh, we'll keep cruising. I'll uh, get back up with you guys uh, probably when we get to the Smooth Trail, which is uh, looks like about another five miles or so. We'll get on to Smooth Comparative Trail. Still not a smooth, smooth trail, but a lot better than this. So I'll catch you guys there. All right, guys, as I was driving, I noticed there was a... Uh, they said it was five minutes longer, but uh, this is a very well upkept gravel road because obviously they got to come out and service all these giant fans um, and uh, so I hung a left and came over here and I'm going to take this down to the main highway and then head home from there so uh, just going to cruise uh, along these giant uh, wind turbines and uh, head home hopefully it'll uh, cut some time off we'll see when I get down to the freeway I had to type in that I was going to Vantage, so it would show me which road to take over here. But that'll get me down to Vantage Highway, and then uh, instead of hanging left to Vantage, I'll hang a right and go into Ellensburg. But <clears throat> sorry, this video is such a cluster. And, uh, definitely didn't mean it to be, but you know, life's never perfect or am I going to edit my videos and make it seem like it's perfect. So I'll uh, catch back up with you guys when I get on the freeway uh, and kind of go over the trip with you guys. All right, guys. I've uh, been on the freeway a couple hours. I'm uh, about a half hour from home. I uh, basically just put my head down, hammered down, just cruised down the freeway. It was absolutely dumping rain going across the pass. I don't want to do a video then, so I'll be home in about a half hour and uh, I'm just going to unpack. i got to take care of the family, so this will probably be the end of the video. Appreciate all you guys that have watched and uh, have subscribed to the channel and uh, ordered everything on my Etsy page. I'll be dropping the uh, rain gutters and the third brake light replacements uh, sometime this coming week. Just waiting, I uh, ordered hardware from Lone Peak, so I want to offer them with or without hardware for those of you guys that don't uh, carry any hardware on you. 
I suggest keeping at least one pack of the tea nuts on you. But uh, I ordered a hundred of them over a week ago and they still have yet to ship out. So hopefully I'll get them sometime this week. And once I get those, everything will be up on Etsy. And uh, yeah, like I said, appreciate all guys and I'll catch you on the next one.